Stakeholders at Nsukara Ford Village in Uyo local government area of Akwaipum State have expressed their satisfaction with the cleanup campaign spearheaded by Passion FM, the radio arm of Advocates Broadcasting Network. While the village head of Nsukara Ford in Uyo, Chief Ayo Esien, expressed his appreciation to the team for conducting the cleanup exercise in the community. He remarked that last month's cleanup was particularly effective as a contributor to the revival of a long abandoned stream in the area. Yes, we, in part, last month's exercise was number one in all. Every area was tied up, even our streams that was abandoned for some time because of borehole water. We, we cleared the stream, we allow, allow the free flow of water so that we have good clean water in the environment. In fact, I will sincerely say that the light exercise was the base of all because we touched a lot, our community touched a lot of environment that was not conducive. We, the channel of our streams was reopened for inflow of waters. So it was the best I can say. Chief Hussein emphasized the significance of sanitation as a vital means of preserving a healthy and clean environment. So we came, actually came from that walk. That started about six o'clock in the morning. So from that walk, we now came over here. Of course, we know in trying to combat malaria and other diseases, it still comes down to having a clean environment. So when your houses are clean, you fumigate your houses and your open spaces, you have a less uh, risk factor for malaria. You have areas where you have like uh, puddles of water, stagnant water and uh, drains that are, that are not flowing. So you have these issues when the environment is dirty. So as much as possible, we have to make sure that our environments are clean. We have um, the government, civil society groups, and all of us citizens will come together and make sure that our environments are clean because when they are clean, most of the time we can reduce malaria as much as possible. So it's a continued um, fight, but we'll continue to walk that path to make sure that we can live a healthy life in Akwaibom and in Nigeria generally. President of the Wet Housing All Stars in Akwaibom State, Mr. Ubong Boite, who was present with his team at Nsukara Ford, emphasized that the cleanup efforts will not only promote a healthy environment but also enhance Akwaibom's reputation as one of the cleanest states in the country. Thank you very much, Etedung, for uh, this honor. Thank you to Passion FM, ADBN TV. Um, we look forward to doing more of this. And uh, let me just add that as we are cleaning up here today, the whole Niger Delta is being cleaned up. This same campaign is going on in Delta states and also in Bielsa states. So we look forward to expanding to all the states in the Niger Delta region and uh, we hope that we can continue to work with you and uh, continue to grow. Environment, you can see around where we are, clean, a uh, fantastic job here has been done. And so Etidong, uh, whilst you're cleaning the environment, courtesy our partners, Smart, and whilst you're doing that too, you can also watch us on um, DSTV channel 258 so that you can watch the news as well as other lovely programs. I want to thank our other partners. Um, also, this cleanup campaign is taking place in Delta State, in Bielsa State. It's a Niger Delta initiative. That's what ADBN TV stands for. We expand our frontiers to make sure that um, the voices around the Niger Delta, as well as um, everything going on around the Niger Delta, is captured. As a token of appreciation for their dedication and hard work, Partner from presented Chief Ayo and Mr. Ubong Boite with gifts to appreciate their consistent effort to environmental sanitation. <laughs>